Hello adventurers and welcome to Venba. This is a short story about a family, I believe, from the Middle East. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Let's take a look at our options before we get started with this adventure. Oh, I love, I love this menu style. Okay, we've got controller options and I'm playing on mouse and keyboard so that means you can play controller with this. Camera Bob, we're gonna turn that off because that makes it a little easier for us. Got some video options and then some audio options as well. I'm not seeing any key bind changing capabilities. Maybe that's something that if we speak up about it, the devs will add for accessibility. Looks like we've got a chapter select option, but we haven't started a game yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Oh. Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. 1988. Huh? Family pictures? Sleeping on the couch? Good morning. Leaving already. Hey, oh, sorry. Did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired. Nauseous. Looks tired to me, just like yesterday. Ah, uh, all right, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idli, idli, batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idlis, very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Oh. Oh, buddy. Uh, I'll make it. Wait, just five minutes. Venba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. So, is this... My my dad, my brother, or Venba's Venba's brother or dad. Sometimes you do things that are hard when you love somebody. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although Oh, an old recipe book? Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make at least are never as soft as hers. They would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. I'm the same way with my mom's chicken and dumplings. If I'm not feeling well, it's usually what I crave. <laughs> if the recipe is still readable, that is. Uh, turn on a little bit of music. I really do not look well. Ah, here we go. Okay. The idli plate, towel, cooker, and we need water and batter. Okay. They have holes so the batter can cook. Make sure to something or it will leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Okay. I have not made idli with these kinds of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes in the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes Idlis a lot softer. Okay, so I believe we need to put the water in first because we're steaming something, right? Okay, so we're putting batter in the plates, okay. And then we do a new plate, right? Okay, okay, all right. First things first, Rose. Okay, and then we need to turn this. It's not letting me turn it how I want to. I want to like stagger them. I'm not sure how to do this. This is hard. I could really use a hint. Put a towel on each idli plate before I put the batter on. Oh. Yeah, I should make sure that the each plate's batter slot is directly above the steam holes of the plate below. That's what I thought. Can we restart? Okay, yes. Okay, can, okay. Water. And towel and then our batter right okay towel 
Okay. Do I have to turn this before? Oh, I know what I need to do now. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, guys. Okay, so you have to turn this before you put the next plate on. Okay, here we go. We got this. It's not that hard. We can fill in those gaps in mom's old recipe. There we go, okay. Now, it says, make sure to something or it will leak. I Let's hope for the best. It's steam cooked, so it needs water. Yeah, I, I thought I, oh. Is that gonna be okay? That I put the water in last? I hope so. Let's see how it turns out. I'm sure it'll be okay. This should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Ah, it's done. Do we do okay? It says, like it was yesterday, complete one recipe without messing it up. I think we did all right. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, wow. You even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out idlies. Oh, so he's our husband. Okay. That makes more sense. The things we do for love, then by I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skipped lunch once. Avalan, you're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but I know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? You're right. Sorry. I have found that, that husbands have a routine, especially mine, and sometimes, you know, if that doesn't involve cooking, they just, it just, it just does not fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Did you look for tickets back home? It's expensive, but we can manage it, yes. Do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. And unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changed his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. Ah, so we're living in Canada. And are we are we a teacher and he's working as well? You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. Ah, so we are a teacher. Benba's a teacher. There's nothing really keeping us here in Canada. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness. It's nice to have good health care, isn't it? They're not free for us, unfortunately. wonder what the doc said. I wonder if she's ready to go back home, if that's something that's comforting to her. Benba, are you home? What did the doctor say? Oh, husband's back. The boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. Need please again? Ah. What has gotten into you today? Aw, oh, more faces. <gasps> She's pregnant. That's why she's tired. Oh! So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. There's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive, though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. 
What a tough choice. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. Then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Man, that's a heavy question. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. Makes one of us. Avalan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Oh, it's a baby on the way. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. I think every, pi uh, every parent wants that for their child, to, for them to surpass them and have a better life. My name is Pavalon, sir. Pavalon, sir. Evan? Hmm? Or did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. No time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Mm, we chase some kids around the house while Dad's trying to have a, an important phone call. Yes, sir. I've managed to transport hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir. Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. <laughs> Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but Kevin, wait there. Don't run. Oh, the mask is, its eyes are moving. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Mm. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Pretty impressive. Physics is hard. Hey, oh, that towel is dirty, da. Here, wear the shirt, kinda. No. But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana. I understand, sir. And he's looking for a new job. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. No luck? Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. Now uh, they didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story. I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Ah, uh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. Honestly, that's a really good way to learn. I've noticed that with me attempting to learn Finnish in my very, very lazy way of learning Finnish is listening like to kids' songs and hearing some words repeated and then asking, you know, what what does this mean? And, you know, you start to pick up on things and you can get the context of a sentence a little faster. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people, too. You've got it. Yay. We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. Names tell stories. Your name is your name a way for people to learn about you and where you're from and that's that's another thing that is kind of hard especially when you're living in a predominantly english place my husband came to live with me from finland in the united states and a lot of people get his name wrong and they purposely get it wrong because they don't know how to say his real name and it can be really, really frustrating for him. And he has pride in his name. You should always, uh, yeah. Don't be afraid to correct your friends. Your name is your name. 
is yours. Who else is going to tell them? McCavin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. I can understand that, wanting just to fit in. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know, he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did, really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Ooh, can we order pizza? Speak into milk, Kevin. I want pizza. Uh, how about we make something at home? Something special special. Like parada? Dosa? Idea pan? Ghee dosa? Okay, guys, forgive me because I've never I've never pronounced some of these things before. I know that one's biryani. Kari dosa? No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time, Kevin. You ever had putu? No? What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. A rocket? Now a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you can get a nice cardboard box. Oh, reverse psychology, Mom. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? <laughs> Good job, Mom. Way to make, uh, make cooking fun. Let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, huh? Here we go. Turn the music up. You guys like to listen to music while you're busy in the kitchen? I do, especially when I'm washing dishes. Okay, let's see. All right, putu flour. So we need rice and water, and we're gonna blend the rice and the water together. We're gonna separate the rice from the chunks, and then something about the chunks, we're combining the fine rice with the water. Okay, let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Okay, so we need rice, we need water. I'm loving this music. You guys know I have not been feeling well. I know I mentioned this in the last video, but this is like invigorating. It's really nice. Okay, blend. Recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is right? It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Kutu flour should feel like slightly wet sand. I think we need to use the sieve. Let's try again. Oh, oh okay, I'm, I'm doing things too fast. We have to blend the rice first. Make the rice flour first. Got it. Okay, now, put this through the sieve. Shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. You got it. You let it all shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. This is also something that will make your cakes really, really, really fluffy and smooth as well. Okay, so we took the big parts out. All right, and we want to add this to the water. Right? Do you think this is right? Hmm, this is way too runny. Must have added less than 500 grams of rice. We need to find a way to use all of it. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe we need to blend it again? Let's give that a try. Let's do this. And then put this back in the blender. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do multiple rounds and that's totally okay. Put this back in. Let's see if we have any leftovers this time. We do. Keep going, keep going, use it all. Waste not, want not, right? I think we got it this time. We're gonna be able to get all the 500 grams. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. My mom actually has uh, a like countertop, stovetop thing that she used to have in her family and her sieve is is a crank. It's a metal, looks kind of looks like a milk jug and there's a crank on the side that you crank it. Okay, so put this in the water. Yes. Does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? You have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Aha! All right, that wasn't too hard. 
Emma, when will we get to see the rocket? Soon. Soon. Ooh, okay. All right, we've got water at the bottom for the for the the steam, right? Three tablespoons of something. Four tablespoons, four tablespoons, three. This is straightforward. Assemble the parts so the water steams and cooks what's above. The tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order? Coconut can crumble easily. Okay, let's look at this again. Flour and coconut. Mmm, it's probably coconut, flour, flour, coconut, flour, flour, coconut. But coconut layers, yeah. Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So let's do, let's put this. I'm assuming this is our first part. Or do we need to put this in before we put the, the top part on? Okay, and then we look at this again and it was coconut, flour, flour. Okay, coconut, flour, flour. Yeah, and then it repeats. Coconut. Flour. Flour. Coconut. Yeah, and coconut is on top. Gotcha. And then we put the lid and turn it on. It's lunchtime, Kevin. Ooh, pretty cool. Wow. That was so cool. And but I can't believe it didn't fall. Mama, can we do that again? Oh, that's so awesome. To share something that you you loved as a kid. Oh no. We're not we're unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. Well, so she's jobless. Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? Yeah, he is. Good. So that interview, another dead end. Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. Go to the employment office again tomorrow. That's a huge feeling. And it's something that, you know, me and Mr. RG have talked about a lot too. When you're the, the head of the family or the breadwinner, we like to say, it feels like you're responsible for everything. And, and when you feel like you can't provide for your family, it's like the worst feeling. And you just, it feels so hopeless. What? I know you don't like Shiresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about who you know here, and we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over, but even here we still have to beg people like Shiresh. It's not begging. I know. Call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the Putu today, you're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? No, well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. Feel that same wall growing around Kevin. What do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It just feels like he's growing farther away from us. The culture difference, maybe? The other day, he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. A five-year-old needs privacy. Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Uh, it's more than just that. Oh, that's big. Doesn't eat lunch at school? He's not interested in anything we do. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it, or if he's embarrassed. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. He does. It's 
place comes with better education and opportunities. It also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask them to ignore the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Absolutely. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. We'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? <laughs> oh, skipping forward again. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Any more pictures? Ooh, the mask size or clothes. Is it nighttime? Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavelon. He's my dad. E-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Ava is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Oh, no. Do you know when my dad left the office? No. Does she know if he at least came in today? Did you see him today? She did. Does he usually leave with anybody? Maybe we can call them? Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. He must have left then too. Oh no. Hopefully everything's okay. Why are we walking through the park, Kama? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the, uh, but the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Oh, okay, I can do that. Aha, okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak to Mel when you want to. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. Hmm. What did you do back home? Same as here, I was a teacher. And not just a supply teacher, I taught math. For 9 to 12th standard. Wow, that's hard. My mom is an elementary school teacher. Are you a cool teacher? What's a cool teacher? Fun and easy going. Like, were the kids scared of you? Only kids named Kevin. <laughs> I don't know, I like to think I was good at it. The classes were always fun for the students. Though I don't think I'm a cool teacher here. I miss those days. But you teach here too. It's not the same. Why not? I don't know. It's just not. Hmm. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Avalon wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. 
it was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Oh, I see. That makes sense for them moving to Canada, then. Mama? I see Appa! Oh, no. <gasps> oh no. Get in a fight with somebody. It's writing. Reminds me of my dad, too. Mostly early morning. In the AMs. Sitting over his Bible, writing. Nothing. No matter how, something, something. Oh! We're older now! Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions, too. I think you should have everything you need? Yes, thanks, Pa. Go help ha Kevin pack. Ooh, did he just graduate high school and is going off to college, maybe? Time to have a little us time. Ooh, what are we making today? Biryani. Oh, okay. We gotta figure this one out. This one is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. Never made it that way before. I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Okay, maybe I can try remembering. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powder, so that order is important. And we add water and let it reduce. Ah, uh, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry. I've added all the instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Gotcha. So this makes sense. So we got to flavor the oil first, okay? There's a logic to the order that you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely. But the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil and the one you add next. So if I want the onions brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release water. And it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so we know tomatoes uh, need to be last. Onions first. And these look like peppers, which go in the middle. Okay, and then this is our oil. Add all of these first. These ingredients, so expensive. Mama, why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, Dee. It's a big thing to leave another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine not being able to see my family. That's something that's so, so important. Oh, I must have put something in wrong. Turmeric. I don't know what I was saying now, but that's another reason why we think it's so important for, for Mr. RG to travel home to Finland is... You know, it's it's good that he gets to be able to see his family and I get to see my family. Regardless of how expensive that is, we try to make make room for that. Okay, so there's cardamom up here. The whole spice is first, right. Okay, right. Here we go, there we go. Ah, uh, so I was forgetting this one up here. I can never get tired of how great toasted whole spices smell. Um, uh, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay, and then after that, I believe it's the powders. No? We put our onions in first, the chilies, and oh, I didn't realize that the ginger garlic paste was part of this. Okay. There we go. 
And of course, the tomatoes go in last because those are going to give off water. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Emma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. And that's that's funny that that she says that because I actually started a project with my own family on Google Drive that like all the women of the family can access and add their recipes because it's so hard to make things exactly like how my mom all makes them or how my mom makes them or how my my aunt makes them or how my my cousin makes them and when you're craving that thing that they make like sometimes you can't travel 200 miles to see the people you love and being able to recreate a dish oh okay Whew. being able to recreate a dish that they loved and, and made memories with you during is just huge okay do we need to put in our spices next? I think this goes in last. Yes. Okay. All right. So we close this. We need all of our, our powders. And then we add our water. And then the... Oh, I did it incorrect. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. We do our powders. Then our marinated beef. And then the water. There we go. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we can start the layering. Ooh. I've never really made Indian food. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. Hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Also, she's doing the same thing for her son that essentially her mom did for her. As after, you know, knowing that a big event is coming up, having, having a feast. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Once done, let's sit in low flame for 30 minutes. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal it tightly, and let it simmer together. One, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Okay. So I'm sure this is a very delicate process because you don't want your rice to burn. Mm. on top of the rice layer and then that's the final layer what's wrong Amma? why are you crying you know we'll visit often and once things are better we'll come back here this is our home where else will we go i know kana it's just so far away oh okay so rice Okay, do I need to take this out of the pot though? Maybe. See, I don't have another bowl of the variant the the gravy. This is interesting because this is not a, a recipe I'm familiar with, but I'm sure if um this is familiar to you, you're probably sitting there like, "Durr, you have to do it this 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 and this way." And <laughs> that's that's such an interesting uh interesting concept that things can come really really easily to other people from different cultures scoop a layer of beef then add one layer of rice then i should add the scooped up that's what i did oh okay i was on the right track i was on the right track okay 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 rice gravy rice Okay, and then we have all of these ingredients. Butter, cilantro, doesn't matter. Which goes on first? Just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. That sounds so good. Oh my goodness. Did we do it right? Looks amazing. Oh. Can't wait to see it on a plate. Oof. I bet it smells really good too. Uh-huh. Appa's impressed. Oh. So, how is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Oh, 
It's really good, Ama. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, uh, Ama, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Well, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way and you, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. I was looking forward to the drive. Spending time. Mm-hmm. We could all spend some time together before we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Ah, uh, Amma, that would be nice. But I think it's just easier this way. You can always annoy me another time. Okay, Kana. Sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? Uh, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food? Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know why. I packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some potis, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Gavin? <laughs> um, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for your friends, too. You can all eat. Ama, um, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm, either. You don't want any of it? Haven't I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week? I didn't ask you to. Oh. I can feel her heart hurting. Why are you mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. Just eating kakuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Ama. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. I just want to be normal. For once. Oh. Anna, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Gavin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else, either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. Sorry. Didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. We'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week, too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. Hmm. Off he goes. Yeah, I still remember when I left for college and, and came home. I mean, my... My college was only like 20, 30 minutes from my parents' house. And I still remember my dad mentioning, oh, your accent has changed. Who are you hanging out with? And I don't know if that was that was strange for him, for me to lose like my really thick Southern drawl. But I still remember him mentioning it, that I started to sound like I was from another state in the United States rather than from West Virginia. I think that's them. Who's that girl? Ever seen him before? Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. Makes his own choices. Even if they are so incorrect. It wasn't, I think, but two weeks and I was ready to come home. <laughs> From college. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Oh, empty nest syndrome, huh? Hmm. Apply again next year. So they don't want her as a teacher again. Did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call? 
No. We told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't gotten... No, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Well, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother him. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. I forgot his headphones in his room. He's going to bring it to him sometime next week. Maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. We did. Oh, of course not, Pavilon. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. He used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I would be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. 2014. Oh no. Is it just Venba now? Seems like it. Does this mean Kevin's coming for a visit? And we get to cook again? We sure do. Okay, rotate. Oh, what are we making? This looks so fun. Are we gonna fry these? This looks so yummy. It's always been a dream of mine to visit countries and go to like food market stalls with someone who knows the area. And to to learn, you know, what what it feels like to be, you know, uniquely from that culture. Traveling with, with my health stuff makes things hard, but I've always wanted to go. I'm sure given enough time, I could always make it happen. Done. Oh, this looks so crunchy and satisfying. Ugh. That's one. That's the next. Oh, so she's making a whole bunch of different things. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's prep our pan. Here we go. One more. Oops. Here we go. Cooking and hosting 
folks and seeing them eat food is one of my favorite things. And that's something that I've really missed since moving away from family is having that time together to cook food that we all love and, you know, catch up. And that's something that I, I love to share with you guys over on Patreon and those of you that are channel members. I get to give you the update. Is what uh, what my family likes to call it the update. What's the update? <laughs> Let's give these give these a nice flip. Ooh, which one? This one. Two more, one more. All right, pop these out. Ooh, this remind me of falafel. I wish these popped the name of the dish on the screen since this isn't something that I'm familiar with. I would love to know. Uh, what these are called. Oh, time for fish. I would love to learn how to prepare uh, fish. Like fresh fish. I've actually never, never learned how to do that. Give these a good slice so it steams properly. I'm assuming we'll be steaming or boiling. Yes, flavor. Make it spicy. Okay, we'll give this a flip. One of my guilty pleasures is, is watching uh, this uh, Chinese YouTuber and she cooks for her family. It makes me feel like I'm at home and I love watching her prepare things uh, straight from her garden for her family. It inspires me to have my own garden too, even though I can only grow a few things here in West Virginia with... Uh, the, the limited space I have and the soil quality. I do my best. Okay, what we got? Ooh, pepper. Okay. Adding seasonings in one by one. Some chili. What are we making? Ooh, okay, so we are flavoring some oil and adding it. Oh. What's next? Oh, something's ready in the pressure cooker. we go Ooh. okay uh add some spices to the top here this looks fantastic One more. Ah, looks like we're making some chicken, maybe? Chicken or turkey? Ah, flip it. I absolutely love seeing dishes that have so much color and so much flavor. They remind me that, that food is more than just a fuel. It's something that you can make memories with. And it's just, it's just amazing. And also, like, food is medicine as well. I've been talking with friends as we try to get healthier and uh, we explore food as more than just fuel. Uh, hopefully he's bringing some of his friends. Look at everything Venba made. Oh, please tell me she'll have visitors. Oh no. She worked so hard.
Something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. Oh. Bless her heart. This reminds me how important it is to to visit family. Time is precious. And those visits mean so much. Sometimes life gets us just too busy. <laughs> she got her teaching job. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. So she went back to India. Or is she passed one or the other? Hmm. We show her eating nothing. Yeah. Was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Yeah. Maybe we can touch upon that. Yeah. That's something like I've never really understood. Maybe it's because it's a culture difference. And it probably is because I'm a standard white girl. Like, I never, I never understood, like, people being embarrassed by the food and their culture. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing. When I wasn't. Oh. See, to me, when someone brought something interesting, I was always excited. I'll check my mother's recipe book. Okay, if I have to give him a recipe, at least I can do is make sure it's authentic. She repaired the book. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Oh, looks like she fixed a lot of these. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh, Idlis. This is Putu. Oh, I remember making this with Amma and, and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favorite. Not too cozy, Colombo. It's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. It's been around five then? I still remember the taste, the smell. The day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Mama fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm gonna feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, she's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and we can start putting it together.
Ah, so he's doing the same as she did. Oh, okay. Let's see. Crumbles something with water. I can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. Looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay. So let's do this. And do a little mix. Oh, the water really changed color. Uh, I could add more water, but it might dilute it. Need to find a way to separate. Yeah, so we need to put this here and this here. Okay. And we put this back in here and do more water. Do another mix. There we go. Sometimes good things take time. There's something there's something comforting about the steps of cooking as well. Water isn't really changing color that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can. Let's add it to the other bowl and see. That's as much as I'm gonna get, I think. Hope this means the water's ready. On to the next thing. Ooh, lots of goodies. Okay. So we flavor the oil first. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, no diagrams in this one. My smell isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. Maybe I can do it step by step. Oh, I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. Missing parts. Let's go step by step, although I don't really see any grains. Did I miss translate something? Okay, we have shallots, tomatoes... Garlic and ginger, powder, seeds, chili. Okay, so maybe, maybe these two? For both the things I added grains, what else could it be? Okay, so that was not correct. Add both the grains. I do see seeds. Maybe she means mustard. Oh, I didn't know cumin was this. Okay. All right. I did not know that cumin was a seed. I guess I'm used to using it as ground. Cumin? Let's see, it's not grains. I can count the number of times I've woken up to the sound, though. Oh, it's already smelling so good. I can read this part easily. Add red leaves and green chilies. Okay. Green, green chilies. Red leaves. Uh, it's probably not the tomatoes. Okay. I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced, uh-huh, probably garlic and crushed, okay, shallots, yeah, this smells so good. It's usually around this time, Mama has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, I feel like when you're really making something good, it, it like has to set the fire alarm off. I don't know why, but that's what it's like in our house. It gives out water. It's going to be tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. Okay, and then add water itself. So that's what the water is for. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left. So add these to taste. Rassam powder and salt. Smell is really taking me back. Mama was upset because of the phone call she got from home. I wonder what the call was about. I think I remember now. I'm sorry, Abba. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Oh no, so her mother her mother was not well. Can't read this part either. There's not much to this. Let's put everything in and cook it, I guess. Okay, so we've got turmeric, some bone and chicken, and some water. Okay, probably water, the chicken, and then the seasonings. And turn that sucker on. Okay. Oh, we forgot about the lid. Did I not put everything in? Okay, 
I forgot the little, the little steamer nozzle. It's an important part of the assembly, guys. Helps us know when it's ready. Any time now. Pop. <coughs> Should keep going. looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. Mix these together, I suppose. Assam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Can we just add this in? And top. It looks great, Alma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Or memory unlocked. <laughs> Mama, why are you sad? It's nothing. Parents do so much for us. Oh. Did I do something wrong? Oh no, Kana. Not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother. Ama loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Ama will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you. Or Appa. Oh, bless his heart. Gotta call my mom. Sorry. I gotta call my mom. Press pause on life. Gotta call my mom. Please call your mom. Oh my gosh, call your mom. <sighs> A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one child. He in India. He come to see his mom, or decide to move home. Oh, what are we making? What are we making? Yeah, I told you, I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin. Listen, it's all about temperature control with Dasa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. So fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you, another disaster coming up. Moms make it look so easy, don't they? Okay, she said water. I'm listening, mom. Okay, batter. Rotate. We gotta spread it. Spread it out. Okay. Here we go. And then we do oil around the edges. Mom, I'm listening, I swear. Okay, and then we turn off the heat. And then we should be able to flip it. Yeah! It's 
done. Yes, I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? Absolutely. Okay. Both up ham now. The dasa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this is the pizza one, right? With all the toppings? Yes. Not really, though. <laughs> okay. So we're going to make it thicker, though. Okay, here we go. We're going to rotate. Thicker batter this time, though. Do we need to add more batter? Oh, I forgot to turn the heat down. It's going to make me do it again. That's okay. Sorry, Mom. I swear I miss I'm listening. I swear I'm listening. Okay, water. Batter. I can do this. Okay. Rotate. There we go. Now the toppings. Have to add all of them? You can add just whatever you like. Everyone's off of is different. Just make sure to add ghee first. Okay, we need to put... So ghee is just uh, another form of butter. Okay. Uh, let's see. Carrots sound good. Onions, absolutely. Some chilies and some idli powder. Okay, and then we have to flip, right? Oh... If this happens, it means the batter hasn't cooked well enough yet. Usually that means you forgot to... Oh! Okay, okay. Okay. And then... All right, then we have to turn up the heat. And we wait for it to, it to get dark on those sides. There we go. All right, and we wait for it to get a little darker. There we go. See, I told you it's easy. It's kind of like a, a savory pancake. I haven't made this in a while. This was your appa's favorite. Kari dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you'd like. Okay, let's turn down our pan again and make a new one. Pull down the stone. Spread our batter. Here we go. Good job, Kevin. Let's add the curry toppings. You want to add the ghee first, then the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry, and finish it with coriander. Okay. Okay, so egg. Okay. And then the curry, minced meat, and the coriander. Turn our heat up. And flip it. It's brown on the edges. Nice. It cook a little bit and flip it another one down this is fun yes it really is oh i miss cooking with family you're doing great kevin you can start your own dasa restaurant when you go back i know right i could probably run the best one if there are restaurants that can serve dasas like this back there you wouldn't have missed home so much and left huh i came here for more than just dasas kevin yeah, of course, I was just joking. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do this one one time at least. Sure, Gavin. Aww. Mama? I have something to show you. This is Alma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too. And you wrote in Tamil. This is great, Kevin. Is all this research for the show you're writing? No, Alma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I couldn't write what they wanted. You can't just write about dasas, saris, and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. And sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. 
I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. Now I'm acting Tamil when it is convenient for me? When there's a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way, Kava. It's true, Ama. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. Every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And up. So sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavilon, well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I'd stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Ama. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Ama. But this is nice. Hmm. What about you? You think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana, but this is really nice. Aww. Kept the sign. Didn't end up uh, letting his friend keep it. Important. Uh, Abhi. The whole team. Oh my goodness, this is such a heartfelt story. Uh, and, and one that really explores how important food is to us as not only as too important to our culture but also in in bonding with each other and i, I can't wait to go home i'm gonna go home i don't mean to sit here and cry um it's been a while and mr rg getting to go home for finland is really important so I think maybe once he gets back, <laughs> maybe we'll make time to go see my part of the family too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a nice short little adventure and I hope you give your, your folks a call today. If, if nothing else, give them a call and tell them, you know, hey, I've been thinking about you. You remember that one recipe that we had so many years ago? Will you teach me? you teach me i bet you they'll make you'll make their day for sure okay i'm gonna stop being cheesy i'm gonna stop being cheesy if you're a parent which i know a lot of you are go go to, go share your favorite recipe with your kids and if you've got one for me and mr rg to try please leave it down in the comments below i know that um we absolutely love trying new things and you know i think i'll drop a recipe in the comments for you so go check that out i'll make sure to pin it let's share our favorite recipes with each other okay oh okay i'm gonna go blow no blow my nose and it'll be all right <laughs> thanks for enjoying venma with me go check it out on steam thank you so much to the devs for sending us a key for this one this was a joy to be able to experience with you guys check out another video from me right here on the screen and i'll see you guys for the next video Bye.